Welcome to Sakai, Durham Tech's learning management system. In this brief video, we'll show you how to find and log into Sakai, we'll introduce you to some of its features, and then we'll show you how to access your course sites. Just like a website, you'll use the internet to access Sakai and your course sites. Open your web browser and type sakai.durhamtech.edu or use the link to Sakai that's located on the current students page of Durham Tech's website. To log in, use the same user ID and password that you use for self-service and WebAdvisor. Your user ID is your last name, followed by your first initial, followed by the last four digits of your Durham Tech ID number. Your Sakai password is the same as your self-service and WebAdvisor password. If you do not know or cannot remember your password, click Reset Password on the left. This will allow you to reset or set up your password for Sakai, Self-Service, WebAdvisor, ConnectMail, and other Durham Tech systems. Then return to Sakai to log in. The first time you log into Sakai, a brief tutorial appears in a box. Click through the tutorial to familiarize yourself with Sakai. When you're done, close the tutorial. You can always access it again by clicking your name in the top right corner and selecting Tutorial. Before proceeding for the first time, we request that you verify your email address. On the menu to the left, click on Account. The address shown here is where you will receive emails sent through Sakai, as well as important notifications about your courses. If the email address listed is incorrect or missing, please let us know by sending an email to sakaihelp at durhamtech.edu. If you're interested in uploading a profile photo, click Profile. Hover the mouse over the blank picture and click Change Picture and then choose File. When considering profile photos, please select a picture of only you that is appropriate for an academic setting. Your photo should be a recent picture that was taken within the last three years. The best choice is a headshot that's clear and close enough so that others can see your face. When you're ready, select the picture and click Upload. Your profile photo will appear in the class roster, beside your forum posts, and beside your messages in the chat room. Once you log in, you'll always start in the Home area. It features a calendar of important dates from all of your classes and recent course announcements. The course sites you have access to should be listed in the site navigation bar at the top of the screen. You can also click Sites to see a list of your course sites. Click on any course title here or any course title in the site navigation bar to go to the site for that course. When you're in a course site, note that the course ID shows in green in the site navigation bar. In the middle of the screen, you'll see basic information about the course and maybe a picture posted by your instructor. On the right, you'll see recent course announcements. You may only see the subject line of the announcement. If so, click the subject line to view the full announcement and then click Return to List to get back. Below course announcements, you'll typically see a calendar containing important course due dates. On the left side of the screen is the course menu. The items or buttons on the menu and the order in which they are listed may vary from course to course because each instructor sets things up a bit differently. Most courses will have a syllabus button. Be sure to review the items in this area carefully so you'll be aware of course policies, the class schedule, and other important information. Many instructors use the Lessons area to organize and present course content. If you do not see the Lessons button, it's possible that your instructor is using Lessons, but has changed its name on the menu to something different. In this course, the Lessons area contains a link for each week of the course, and each week contains lecture notes, documents, and links to quizzes, assignments, or forums. Some instructors may provide a Resources area, with files such as handouts, PowerPoint presentations, or other course documents. The Email button, if available, allows you to send an email to your instructor or classmates. If your instructor uses Sakai's gradebook, you can go there to check your grades and keep track of how you're doing in the class. As you become more familiar with Sakai, here's a few tips to help you become a better user. 1. Use the navigation links and buttons within Sakai, such as Save, Cancel, Submit, and so forth. Rather than your browser's back button, your results will be much more consistent. 2. The home area is a private area. From here, you can use the resources area to store your files. 3. Sakai remembers where you left off. 
For example, if you visit a few links within lessons, then jump to another area within Sakai, and then return to lessons, you'll come back to where you left off. This can be very handy, but it's not like most websites. To return to where you started, just click the Lessons button once again. When you're done working in Sakai, don't forget to log out. Click your name in the upper right corner and select Log Out. We hope this brief tour helps you get started with Sakai. For more information, visit the Help for Students link on the main Sakai page. If you need additional assistance, please contact sakaihelp at durhamtech.edu.